distinctively remember being at the at the park with all the parents and the kids playing and I said uh, you know I'm not really worried about it but I may be that ignorant guy that just in the end says man we should have left so essentially you just had wind you had rain just spitting out so you'll have water splashing up here you have water bubbling through here uh, we had water coming from the light fixtures because the wind was taking the rain into the soffit. But as Steph's dad and myself, we picked that up along with the chairs and we put it up against the door. Even with that big table, it was still shifting this door. Ultimately, there was, this is where they were at. And so there was two adults and two kids in here. And Florida's Governor Rick Scott says this will be the worst storm to hit the panhandle in more than a century back to the 1860s. I've never seen anything. I've never been uh, one to get emotional, but it was like, um, like, a, like a scene from World War III or something. Seeing a brand new home with the roof peeled back, we knew that everything in there was gone. You know, my wife just couldn't take it. And the damages were just overwhelming. Over here was my wall where all my artwork was here, um, all which was destroyed by the, um, the soffits being opened up here, which this was pretty much uh, a skylight. We're now in our sixth uh, um, lodging home, which we um, will actually be moving to another one on the 21st of this month for another month while the project begins. Hurricane force winds so extremely destructive. I mean, power outages for weeks, but uh, you know, taking roofs off of houses, complete destruction of some of these houses is an incredibly dangerous situation. And the clouds were like today. It was billowing and gray, and there's a flock of seagulls trying to race the wind out. And a very telltale moment for me was when that cloud swallowed that whole bunch of birds. This whole flock of birds was just gone. And then noon, all hell broke loose. This is where the window blew open. All the curtains were ripped off the walls. And we came out and we walked into this room right here. And that's when we heard the big noise and the glass breaking. I actually had it noticed that the wall had been torn off the wall until after the storm when the window blew in and Charles shouted at us to come take shelter in the bathroom. This was the room that we took shelter in and uh, we didn't have any electricity, there was no water. We had some emergency flashlights and some emergency lights. It's a mixture of being exceedingly blessed and feeling exceedingly blessed and grateful of the good things that had come out of the storm, but also feeling a sense of loss because I have been torn out of my community, the, the community that I love. If it wasn't for ARA, I would be homeless. There's no doubt about that. So my life has sort of temporarily been on hold until we found a new place to live, and now we're just getting back to being more shock I think is probably the best word and then coming here and seeing everything um, didn't recognize anything I mean we were pretty far out before um, you started seeing some of the damage in the trees and stuff but it was so unrecognizable like you didn't really know where you were on the roads that you'd been traveling on for, you know, for us the last two years this is the front doors with the glass that got blown out and the, <laughs> the trim too but this room, it pretty much, it kind of blew out all the ceilings everywhere. And then this is Annie's room, the one you can see from the front of the house. And it took everything off except for a few things on her shelves. This is the master. the master bath that's left of it. <laughs> Something hit up here and we ended up getting a skylight in our 
closet, which destroyed all the clothes. <laughs> it's almost, again, surreal in the fact that the company took such good care of making sure, one, we were all safe, where everybody was, to make sure everybody was okay. And then they went straight into, how can we help? What do you need? I'm speechless in a lot of ways. Um, <laughs> we're all in it together. We're all trying to help each other. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a very humbling experience that we went through. Uh, some trying times, but ARA definitely helped out in that aspect. So again, I'd like to thank everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you!